Hey guys, Pete from PeteSense.com, February 8th, 2010. Uh, the market uh, started out um, eh, a little flat, uh, looking a little optimistic in the green. Obviously, uh, I'm semi-optimistic because, you know, we're still in a short-term bear market. Um, but I am overly optimistic as far as we're going to turn around and the, uh, the bounce the other day on Friday at 1050 was sufficient but you still got to be careful and you still got to you know hold your own and uh, make sure your stop orders are in place make sure you're not too over leveraged in any one position um but like i told you guys on friday if you if you trade correctly i mean you can uh, uh you know trade correctly on solid stocks you can get your money back even if it's going against you and uh, i proved that pretty much on friday uh which is a technique that i've been using for several years and it works well if the stock is doing well, okay? If the fundamentals are strong, you're fine. If the fundamentals are weak, then you can get yourself in trouble. Um, but regardless of that, I had a big long video on that on Friday, so you can see that uh, if you want on the website, okay? Um, I got here PepsiCo, ticker symbol PEP, and uh, this is semi a semi-earnings play. I don't usually play earnings. Um, unless I'm already into the stock and maybe I'll buy some call actions or put actions depending on what I what I do. Uh, I'm usually bullish on uh, my positions. I don't usually go short. I'm not too much of a short seller. But with that said, um, the way I would play this, I think earnings is coming out on the 11th, which is either Thursday or Friday. I don't have a calendar in front of me. Um, PepsiCo has been doing very badly in the last couple of days, but it is still a strong stock. And if you see here at the top of this, uh, trend line, that's when we started breaking down and it's been trending downward, you know, for some time now. Um, but you're looking at the five day, I got the 50, the 21 and the five, obviously here's the 200 day. Okay. Um, and I got support lines here in this area. Right now, it looked like it found some support at $59.30, you know, $59 ballpark. Um, but that may or may not hold. And I'll tell you why. Earnings is, is a funny game. These guys, regardless if the earnings comes out good or bad, sometimes, sometimes they dump the stock just to get some uh, good pricing action and, um, you know, trigger a lot of stop orders. Um, and that's usually the way I play it. So if I'm into the stock, uh, usually, you know, I'll put a, a, a buy position a lot lower and my hunch and my gut feeling tells me that since we have an additional support line here, okay, at $58 and we're approaching because obviously the whole market's been going down, um, and we have, uh, additional support obviously in this trend line um or support line i'm sorry and in the 200 day i would place a buy order right between 57 58 maybe 58 and a quarter or maybe put two buy positions maybe put one at 58 and a quarter uh 58 15 and another one at 57 50 somewhere around there wherever you think you know you got to chart yourself out and see what it looks like to you and then, um, regardless, if you're in the position already, I mean, I think you can get in, into uh, into PepsiCo right now. Um, the stock is doing very badly, but the fundamentals are strong. Earnings are increasingly uh, getting stronger every quarter. Um, dividend is a dollar eighty, a three percent dividend. Um, I mean, it's an animal. Good, good balance sheet overall. Um, I think you can do well with this stock. So that's the way I would play the earnings. Uh, put two buy positions in or get into it early and put. You'll see here that we got volume decreasing here as far as the sellers. So with that said, um, I think you get, get some serious buy action on the earnings. And what will happen is a bounce. Let them bring it down. Your buy orders will get triggered. And boom, you're right back up and you're already profiting. All right, guys. Good luck with that. Let's see if it works. Um, Pete at Pete's2Cents.com. Thanks, guys.